Welcome back to another Shotcut tutorial. In this video we'll be working with multiple audio tracks. Uh, we're going to add music to a video and we're going to look at the audio filters and effects in Shotcut. So to get started I'm going to open a file and I'm going to open up just this uh, it's an mp3 music file. And So I'll open that up and we see it appears here, it starts playing. It's going to follow the same rules as if it were a video clip. So we can jump to a certain part, hit the space bar to play, or we can control here and play it and we can go reverse, go to the beginning. Uh, if we drag this down to our timeline, it'll appear and it comes on as a video track, V1. And so we can play it here and now we're watching it in the video track as opposed to our source. Um, but what we really want is an audio track here. So we could leave it in the, in the video track. It's just going to play as a video with a black background, um, whatever the, our settings are, I think 1920 by 1080. But if we click on filters here, or like we learned in the last video, we can also click filters up here. It does the same thing. It just brings up the filters tab. Uh, and then it says what is selected is this Bach Concerto in D for two violins, uh, D minor, and it's selected in red. And so we can zoom out and kind of see the selection. So anything we apply will happen to this entire selection, which is the entire audio. So I'll just click this plus. And if we click on audio, it'll show us different audio effects. So we have fade in and fade out of the audio. We have gain and volume, which is I use quite a bit to increase or decrease the volume of a clip. Um, balance and pan are going to be for like right and left. So let's click on, just to show you, I'll click on this gain volume one. And the option we have here is just level. So it's just a single level. If we hit play, we can look over here in this audio peak meter and we can kind of see what this is doing here. So this is the volume right now. If we adjust it lower, the volume gets softer and we can see over here, it's you know down to negative 40, 50 decibels. If we go up above zero, it'll get louder. And if we go too high, it's gonna get red and kind of clip out at certain points. So we want to avoid that red whenever adjusting audio. Um, okay, well, I want to show you though. So this is on the video track. So suppose we did want to bring in some video too. We can go open file. We can find uh, some video here. So I'll just do this. Maybe I'll do this clip right here. So this clip already has some audio associated with it. If I were to bring it down right now, it would overwrite whatever portion, this white portion, it would actually overwrite the audio. Um, we could also do, if we check this little icon here, this ripple trim and drop, what it will do now, it changes from overwrite to insert. So what this will actually do is break the audio. So we'll come in to the very beginning, we'll play the audio here. And what it'll do, if I were to take that, oh, now I lost my video, see, it's not in the playlist, because all I did was open it, so we have to reopen the video again. And I drag it down, pause, we drag it down, we're going to insert this video. So now the video is inserted here, meaning it'll play the video and then pick up right where it left off. And so it's not actually, um, over. it didn't overwrite the audio, if that makes sense. Uh, anyway, what we can actually do, if we don't want to have it on the same track, which we don't really, that's not ideal. We want to be able to play the waterfall and have the music playing in the background. So we need a separate audio track. To do that, we click these three lines here and we go add audio track. Now we have an A1, uh, uh, A1 down here and V1 here. So the A is the audio track and the V is the video. So we see the video has an option for turning on and off the video, turning on and off the sound. This lock icon just locks the track and keeps it so we can't edit it at all. But the, down here on the audio track, it has an option for turning off the audio and locking, but there's no picture because the video track only has audio with it. So then we'll have to open up, because I'm not using this play the playlist, I probably should, should do that. If we go open file, we have to go back to our audio file and bring it in here. We can drag it to the playlist and then we won't keep losing it every time. And then we also drag it down to our audio track. So we put it down here in the audio track, it's to the very beginning. And now we'll just click this and hit delete. And that deleted the just that part of the audio. We'll click this first part and hit, I'll hit the, the this one here. This is the ripple delete, so it deletes and sucks it back to the beginning. And now we'll have both the waterfall and the music playing because the video has its own audio track and the audio is on a separate track from the video. So we have two audio sources and one video source playing. 
And maybe if we find, so this audio down here doesn't have the effects we applied to it. If we click on filters, we see there's no effect because that effect we applied was up here on this other one that we deleted. So we'd have to reapply this. It sounds like the waterfall is a little bit too noisy. So we can actually click this plus and add in uh, this gain volume to the audio of, see what's selected, just the video clip. So we'll turn that down. Um, and now the, the we should hear the music a lot more than than the audio than the audio from the waterfall. That's kind of cool. And then we can add in other ones too. We can do like balance is going to be left and right if it comes out of the left speaker or the right speaker. We can add in um, fade in. So if we add in fade in, it, it kind of you can see we'll zoom in here a little bit. So this little black triangle can be adjusted. Right now it's doing about a one second fade, I think. So we didn't hardly notice that one, but let's do a fade out. That one we will notice. So we'll add a fade out. And now we'll hear this sort of fade out, the music. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm applying it to the waterfall, not the, not the music, no wonder. Let's, let's come over here, I'm gonna cut the music to the end of this, so we'll click here to split, and I'll go to the second half and hit delete. So now, while I have the audio track selected, you see a mistake that you'll probably make too, but I make it quite often. So I apply the effect to the wrong clip. We see I did a fade in and a fade out to the waterfall and not to the music. So now that the music's selected, I'll add in the fade in and I'll add in the fade out. So now we have a fade in and fade out applied to both of our clips. We actually don't even need them on the waterfall one, so I'm just gonna get rid of them on here. And now we'll play this. So you hear that, the, the audio um, fades in, and then the audio, audio fades out. So that's kind of cool. Um, not a whole lot of audio effects here. We have, um, what's this, one pass? So this is gonna be like, I don't even know. But there's some different options here. If you know audio and you know what you wanna do. Um, I do a lot of my audio in Audacity. So if I have to do too much crazy stuff, I'll actually edit it outside in Audacity and then I'll re-bring it in uh, once it's all, once I have the things applied to it that I want. Anyway, that's working with uh, effects uh, and filters for audio in Shotcut, and also how to work with multiple tracks. And we can add in, if we want, we can add in another audio track, and then we have another one. We can add in a video track, and we'll talk more about that too, working with a lot of different tracks here. But if ever you get a lot going on, you can always click here and go to Make Track Shorter, then we can see all of all the tracks we have going on. We can also adjust this if we want to see more of what's happening in our tracks and less of what's happening up here. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead and leave your questions or comments below if you have any questions about working with audio, with the filters, or audio tracks in Shotcut. And I hope to see you in the next video.